So hi and welcome to my latest vlog which is about all things bags. So I thought um, coming into party season in Christmas just around the corner it would be a good time to start with um, evening bags. So first rule of thumb when looking for or using an evening bag is to think about the shape of the bag and the, uh, the rule that we work to is to ensure that the shape of the bag mimics our body line. So if we have a more angular body line if you're um, if you're straighter, for example, sake, then a more angular bag will complement really, really well. And if we're more soft and curvy, then we have a bag that is more curvy by design. So I'm um, what they call a combination body shape. I'm more angular on my upper body and then softer and curvier on my lower half. So if I wanted to wear a bag underneath my arm, then I would choose to wear it there like so and have a bag in an angular cup such as this. Now, wearing underneath um, my arm like this is great because it helps to draw the eye to my waist where I'm nice and nipped in. So that's the second tip. Hold the bag um, in an area or a place where you're happy. Take the eye um, and for people to see. So I wouldn't be comfortable holding my bag down here because that's where I carry my weight. It's my fullest point of my body. Um, so I don't want people um, people's eyes being drawn to that part of me so I would always ensure that it stops at my waist. This one also has a strap so again if I wanted to I could pop that over my shoulder again falls in line with my tummy and waist. Okay if you um, are fuller on your upper body and slimmer on the lower half then what you can do is um, of course hold the bag um, as I was doing earlier on hold the bag down here and away you know if you've got a bit of a tummy then hold the bag further down um, because again it will help detract and take the eye away okay so that's a really good example of an angular cup of evening bag and here is a great example of a more curvy design so you can see here on the outer line it's more curvy also if I come closer we can see just the lovely little bow detail again so it's got some curvy detail to it which um, is great if you have a curvier body line so that's a little on the evening bags um, the same principles apply when we come in to looking at everyday bags so here we have one um, that's a little softer and curvier again I would wear that over my shoulder so it's in line with my waist I could if I chose to hold it in my hand um, and allow it to drop further down because it's then again it's away from where I carry my weight on my hips and thighs okay so that's a, a slightly curvier design and then the last that I'd like to share with you is a more angular design so again great if um, if you're more angular in your body line and by that I mean the outer line of your body the last thing I'd like to just to touch on is scale which is a really important thing to um, consider when uh, purchasing any accessories um, obviously relevant to bags today so um, if you are a fuller um, not a fuller frame but a larger frame then we opt for larger bags and accessories um, and if we are smaller then we opt for smaller bags and accessories and the same goes for clutch bags and lighter weight suits all our accessories I'm of a medium scale but if I pop this over my shoulder we can see that the bag is absolutely huge okay and actually what happens is on the bag um, and I kind of almost disappear so if I then swap it around pop it with a bag that's smaller it's more fitting with with my physical uh, with my physical scale okay and for any of you that might be then saying but how do I understand what my scale is it's just a really quick easy way of working it out take your thumb and your middle finger of one hand wrap it around your wrist like so now if the um, if your fingers um, touch then your medium scale and if there's a gap between, I hope you can see that, then you're of larger scale. So that's just a really quick and easy way of, um, of gauging where you are with that. I appreciate sometimes when we're traveling around, we might need a larger bag to, um, to accommodate the pieces if we're on the move, off to work, etc. But uh, every day then ideally try and wear the bags to scale. And my last tip within this blog is to think about the, um, the accessories on the bag, okay, in terms of color. So, I'm going to start with this black clutch bag again. 
black sits in the um, in the cool and vibrant uh, family of colour or the winter season for those of you that might understand it as a seasonal colouring. Um, this bag is fantastic because it's got the silver detail here on the um, design and the, the bow, um, if I can come close enough, I hope you can see that, has just got some pretty sort of diamante effect stones. Fantastic, so that all sits correctly within the right palette. Likewise, this lovely red has, um, it's a lovely letterbox red, a bluey red, again, sits in the winter season, but again, it's got the silver chain that sits with it. So if you wear on the warmer side, then do try and think whether it's got some gold detail on it um, and that the straps, um, details, etc., are relevant. It's not the end of the world, but if you can kind of get it all together, then um, it just it just helps to really sort of bring the outfit together. So I hope that's really helped. Um, as always, we'd love to hear from you. Um, you know, any questions, queries? We'd love to see what bags you've got. Um, but I hope you all have a great Christmas, and I look forward to speaking to you again in the new year. Okay, cheers. Bye for now.